Okay, guys. So, uh, welcome to this particular webinar. Uh, this webinar was particularly my idea to quickly uh, show some information, like share some information about uh, COVID-19, which the entire world is struggling through. And uh, we all are trying to sort of uh, fight with like on an economic front as well as on a health for front as well. So this particular webinar, uh, it will be me who will be leading the webinar. And along with me, I'll be having uh, Kinshuk, one of my uh, good friends and a doctor uh, as well. And you can see our uh, qualifications. I don't think we need to describe more. Uh, before we start, I'd like to give a quick introduction about the company. So Cloud Analogy is a leading top rated Salesforce services uh, company and consulting provider. So we are all inclusive Salesforce services and most of the work which we do is related to uh, multiple domains of uh, healthcare, finance and uh, uh, real estate and multiple other domains as well. So without any ado, uh, let me get started. So with COVID-19 impact on global health and business. Uh, so unfortunately, because of cloud analogies presence in many region around the world, we are gaining firsthand knowledge of coronavirus effect on global business. As with all crises, there are some business that stands to benefit and that's true but however many companies in frontline countries are facing challenges as results of the virus are breaking so the challenges which they are facing are numerous and uh, with the statistics you can easily identify that the total global cases are reaching towards uh, 500,000 margin and if it goes like this, it will probably easily touch a million uh, cases. There are a very uh, steep hike in the global deaths. And uh, you can also sort of get it compared with India. And especially in India, it came late. So probably we as a Indian or as our Indian government uh, got some privilege on preparing for this particular outbreak. So that's what we are trying to do. And if you can see the map, which I'm sharing right now, this is like the latest most information as of now for today. And uh, so those are the different states and regions uh, which are mostly affected. And as you can see, both the East Coast and the West Coast and the the New York area and the and the kind of uh, San Francisco, California area, basically both are uh, getting the most affected out of it. And this is disrupting a lot of other businesses as well. And uh, as far as India goes, uh, what a, a specific uh, thing which has been seen is like uh, business domain people who travel a lot have carried this virus and uh, cities or to say like states like uh, uh, Kerala or Maharashtra. Maharashtra is having Mumbai, which is a business hub in India and our sort of financial capital of India. So that is also affected and uh, and, and they, they have the uh, highest hike. So moving ahead, uh, before I jump to the challenges, like what is the decision? What we have noticed is definitely a drop in business activities. Number one is the drop in business activities. Some companies have seen their uh, growth rate drop sharply between December and February. Several companies that were on track are now at risk of uh, missing their quarter one 2020 plans. Uh, probably we are also on that. As effects of the virus ripple wider, the supply chain disruption. So that is like the second thing. Uh, the unprecedented lockdowns in the manufacturing country, like manufacture of the planet is China, is directly impacting global supply chains. 
hardware's direct to consumers and retailing companies may need to find alternative suppliers and pure software companies like us are less exposed to supply chain disruption but remains at the risk uh, due to cascading economic effects uh, third is definitely the curtailment of uh, travel and uh, like cancelled meeting and many companies have banned all non-essential travels and some banned all international travels as well even with us uh, we have our uh, salesforce experts in australia who were about to attend the salesforce world tour which got cancelled uh, to say like which got converted to a virtual uh, world tour so much of the meetings the face-to-face one-to-one meetings got cancelled and all so that uh, caused a lot of disruption and while travel companies are directly impacted companies which promote or to say like, like operate in the tour and travel like uh, companies uh, they got mostly impacted and that depend on in-person meetings to conduct sales business development or partnership discussions are being affected so as far as i see uh, especially even big giants like general general electric uh, twitter boeing everyone has got impacted they are probably <clears throat> laying off employees marking their losses right from the very beginning and one of the industries aviation industries is almost doomed so uh, even with us uh, we uh, have recently completed one project aviate now uh, which being it's one of one of its kind app on app exchange salesforce and we gave good enough a year of uh, like a good 5 10 people development team and qa and a lot of uh, uh, generating a lot of values and all but at the end uh, with this covid 19 it's 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 all almost uh, gone back to zero so it will i'm not nobody is sure like how much time it will going to take and that's where like it will take considerable time perhaps several quarters before we can even be confident that the virus has been contained it will take even longer for the global economy to recover its footing some of you may experience softening demand some of you may face supply challenges uh, while the fed and the other central banks can cut interest rates uh, monetarily monetary policy may prove a blunt tool in elevating the economic ramification of a global health crisis so that's that's like the challenges which we see and it's global right so even in india we are absolutely seeing the similar things uh, like the recent most today's news is like go air has said that they won't be able to give salaries to their employees or uh, like uh, the top management salaries have also been directed by other <clears throat> uh, aviation industry uh, companies uh, tourism is definitely one of the biggest thing got impacted on and uh, it's it's almost like a lot of a lot of businesses uh, which were dependent directly or indirectly on tourism uh, let it be uh, businesses like airbnb or businesses like restaurants and travel itself so everything has uh, been affected especially with this virus being so contagious and so fast in transmission which again uh, kinshuk will be uh, the right person to explain but uh, quickly jumping on uh, the tourism industry has really got impacted and, uh, and 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 it's going to be definitely a huge crisis most of the countries even like india uh, does a lot of their gdp growth uh, via tourism and uh, it's related uh, businesses provide a lot of uh, jobs so that is uh, that is one thing which is undeniably getting affected so moving forward i would let uh, kinshuk to speak a bit more about uh, the facts about coronavirus and uh, how uh, what are the statistics right now so kinshuk yeah you can get started 
Thank you, Jay. Thank you so much. So basically, um, this is a virus. Uh, we usually get uh, into our body are the bacteria overlying ev everywhere we roam around. So virus is uh, something that is more effective and uh, more dangerous than a bacteria. Uh, we have uh, in past uh, few years have uh, with, uh, uh, seen so many cases of SARS and MARS. These two diseases you are, I think, you are familiar with. So this is the third uh, uh, range of virus. This is from uh, one and same family. This is the third type of virus, which is coronavirus, which is a crown. As when you see through the microscope, uh, it appears like a crown in, on the head of a king. So this is a pandemic and pandemic means it is uh, everywhere, like universally spread, not uh, in, uh, uh, limited to a, a small region or small uh, number of people. So pandemic is like it is spreading everywhere around the world and first thing that we every country or every government is doing is the lockdown this is right now the only and only substitute so that uh, no more spreading of the virus can be done and uh, uh, the most uh, transmission uh, transmissions that are occur in the regions with the low temperatures between 37 and 62 degrees it has been seen like uh, 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 what i have been researching around and what i have seen is that the regions below the temperate area temperate zone are uh, less affected we can they are not like we have not seen uh, zero cases but yes those are affected but they, those are less affected uh, and as the myth says that uh, everybody have uh, heard or uh, read somewhere like corona uh, can be uh, 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 like uh, uh, eliminated by raising the temperature and it is not uh, the way it's like uh, where there are high temperatures it can't uh, grow or don't have that sustain uh, sustainable environment to grow on those places so it is difficult but we can't say it can't be grown over there so like uh, arizona florida texas we have slow, uh, seen slower outbreak over there because they are below the temperate region and uh, warmer places as i already said uh, they are less affected so it is the first or and the most uh, easy way that virus that get into our body is our oral route like from our mouth and our nasal route like from these orifices our nasal orifices so the first thing we can do is properly uh, enclose this area but it can't be done as uh, we are humans and we have to breathe so uh, what uh, we can do is most of the time we can cover it with a mask uh, as we people see uh, usually seeing are the n95 masks these are like 95 percent protective from viruses and bacteria bacteria and other pathogens so it's like not 100 percent uh, it can uh, make us safe but yeah it is a preventive measure a best preventive measure we can take and uh, another best preventive measure is like sanitizing your hand about uh, after touching e anything like if you are having food if you are touching uh, surfaces like doorknobs your table surfaces your daily mobile phones and the things you use for your daily purposes so uh, only the droplets that can sustain over there uh, are the droplets so we should sanitize our hands and uh, much uh, stay in our houses that is the only way to get rid of this thing so glad to, know, glad to know those informative uh, information kinshuk uh, dr kinshuk uh, doctor i had like a uh, few questions already set up as we discussed and uh, yeah, even, yeah, yeah. the truth is like one of those questions you already answered related to uh, like uh, uh, like whether in the warmer places will it will it reduce down or not yes okay? yes yes yes, so yes i would like to my audience uh, to ask any question if they have uh, to our doctor yeah yeah free uh, feel free to ask anything 
and uh, while they are asking kinsho can you sort of introduce yourself uh, because that is something i <laughs> might have not done properly like what you are doing right now and all uh, well thank you ajay but uh, right now uh, i am a doctor uh, i have done my mbbs from royal king medical college and hospital bareilly and uh, right now i am posted as a medical officer uh, at kurukshetra in the government polyclinic and uh, just going through all these cases every day <laughs> okay and how is your day in day out like uh, can can you tell us a bit about that by the way i know it's <laughs> and at the end we all will be yeah, chatting yeah. for you but uh, yeah, definitely no no no, no. how your daily schedule goes like how many hours are you working right now uh, i'm working like uh, 12 to 14 hours a day great to know that because and, uh, because uh, when people got to know about corona and its symptoms be, uh, first of all let me tell you the symptoms uh, anybody wants to know is that sim- symptoms like he wants to know that i am really affected or not so first thing i want to tell everybody is the symptoms of a normal flu common cold and uh, of corona virus covid 19 disease corona virus disease we can say are uh, almost same we can't uh, distinguish on the base of uh, basis of their symptoms uh, anything right now we people uh, only have the option to ask our patient that if they have any travel history or uh, any history of in contact with some, with some person who has traveled from uh, from uh, from the danger zones of india where many uh, cases are there uh, rather than if they have visited away from the india so basically many people come to me and these days because they are more aware of, aware about the uh, symptoms they they are having common uh, flu but uh, because uh, they are panicked about the situation and they are like just hustling and bustling all around yeah absolutely and uh... could you tell a bit more about like why uh, a generic question came to me and many people asked me like why india uh, took this decision right now or to say like why didn't it took it before or why not later because as compared to other countries uh, like what triggered this decision probably uh, okay. as uh... we have uh, uh, a uh, subject in our uh, co- medical course that was social preventive medicine the first line in that textbook is prevention is better than cure so right now uh, uh, this step is just a prevention uh, so that uh, cases are increasing day by day in india and uh, as we know about our hygiene uh, environment in india is not that very good so if it spreads into the people with low socio economic status is it will spread uh, uh, with a rate 50% faster than it is spreading right now so lockdown is uh, the only option so that early as early as we can lock down our nation we can uh, i can't say we will eradicate this disease but yes we will uh, see less number of cases yeah good to know that at least uh, and what about the timeline can you also tell us a bit uh, and our, uh, our viewers a bit more about timeline what timeline do you foresee like how long will this go on because this is definitely impacting each one of our lives and businesses last within the last 3 days uh, i was uh, just going through the news every day and uh, a few days ago for 4 days ago i i was seeing there was 432 or 433 cases in india but as it spread in 10 days is from 0 to uh, 400 cases it directly sp- uh, there was raise of 200 uh, patients within 2 and 3 days and uh, i think there must be a lockdown of at least 2 months for india okay so that's what you for, <laughs> for see like at least a two months lockdown that's that's a long 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 that's that's the only way out 
Okay, that's inevitable. Okay. Well, uh, that's that's like other other questions are also here, uh, which we discussed earlier, and probably I'd like you to elaborate for our viewers uh, why the disease is being called COVID-19. COVID-19 as uh, COVID-19 stands for the st uh, starting two initials are CO, that is Corona. VI stands for virus and uh, the last D is a disease. And 19 as it the first case came uh, to uh, uh, the focus uh, on 20th, uh, if I'm not wrong, on 20th December 2019 in Wuhan, China. So yes. it is, and the co corona, corona, as I told tell, told earlier, that uh, when you see through the microscope, it have projections like uh, the crown of a king. So it was named after that co coronavirus. What is this? Is it a myth or a reality? Like of this being developed as a, a warfare, like weapon, something like that, virus weapon. Uh, well. The main myth, uh, the uh, the rumor that is spreaded everywhere is that it is it came from bat and snakes. Well, it is not that thing. It actually was already present uh, virus, but uh, I think somebody was manhandling or something like that have spread it so much. Okay, okay. So it's not a biological weapon of sort. It can it can become a biological if used. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what everyone is saying. If you don't lock down, if you don't restrict uh, social. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Because uh, as we people see today's situation, it just seems like a bio weapon as it is spreading everywhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And how about even?